A special shout out to Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlow, The Hellraiser, Harrington, Killer Bunny 264, Jelly Beams, Jim Bones, Bilalko, and I Am Beast for your amazing support. To support the channel by becoming members and patrons like them, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Seminist that I, War of the Walkers. My Ooh, look at all these nodes over here. Guys, all of this stuff gives you resources. I'm just waiting for a, a better pick. Um, they're on the map, so they actually should show. Yeah, all of these over here, all of these ones are those nodes. So yeah, the moment we actually have a better pick or we can do a little bit more damage, I'm gonna go for them immediately. I think we have the book that allows you to sometimes get the treasure in one shot. Uh, so as long as we have the stamina for it and we have a better pick, I'll be able to go and quickly get all those nodes. The amount of XP we get from them and the kind of loot we get from them is super, super worth it. Jeez, I need a legendary pick, man. So far, the loot we're getting from... Oh yes, Crucible. So far, the loot we're getting from this stuff is awesome, but I mean, look at this. This one's already way better. The stamina cost is super, super high, but it's way better in terms of damage. Oh, also, yeah, we need to go and repair those tools for the one quest, so it's a good thing we just found this. Okay, let's really go ahead and these quests to the trader, and then we have to get back to the base to repair those tools. Especially now that we got these repair, uh, well, tool repair kits, we can easily go and do it. I think the wrench we should still have on us. Uh, I made the wrench, didn't I? Did I drop it? I think I might have dropped it. But yeah, we need to repair the wrench, um, the claw hammer, the axe, pickaxe, and shovel. And then the next quest will actually uh, open up for us. Also, it's been a really long time since I've seen any uh, wandering zombies and stuff. So I'm guessing they're going to start showing when I least expect it. Because yeah, uh, the thing is, I've been driving back and forth. And I think driving up and down like this um, uh, makes them confused as to where to go. So they might have actually already spawned in, but they went to a spot that we were, and now we're not there anymore, so they're not coming for us. Okay, so I need the pick, the axe, the claw hammer, that one, and then what's the other one? The shovel. The shovel, shovel, shovel. Oh yeah, there's a crappy shovel. And then I need to go put that down at the base. I need eggs. I need a lot of eggs. So basically, guys, the way this works is you have to take these, like so, go smack something really hard, and then repair. Next one. Come on, I need to do this faster. One, two. Move down, repair, drop. One, two. Move down so I can get the next one. Repair, drop. This is the best way to damage them this slightly, although it's such a waste of a repair kit to repair these right now. Technically, I could just go and repair my shovels, but I think because they... Oh, it's also an iron shovel. I could have just repaired mine. So I am actually going to repair mine. It's better than repairing a crappy one. There you go. Quests. Uh, I think that was the... Tradesman over here. Yeah, the resources. Do we have that much wood and clay? I think we should have perhaps all this stuff. I don't think we have that much stone. We've been making way too much cobble. Unfortunately, all this stuff went into cobble, so we're going to have to wait uh, to get some more resources. What I could do is quickly go get those nodes on the map. And that should give me enough stone and stuff to keep on going from there. It's a shame that I used up all of my clay and um, stone to make cobble right now, because now I need it. Now, well, we're close to getting 5,000 clay. I just need the stone. Technically, with enough coin, we can just go buy it from the traders. I wonder if I shouldn't just do that. It's going to save us a little bit of time as well. Technically, the ratchet is a little bit better than the... Wrench, but our wrench at the moment is level 6, so that might be better than what we have at the moment. Okay, I need to drop some of this stuff. I'm getting way too full, but the problem is we don't have the space for anything. Okay, let me just quickly go here, and then I need to bring her with me, because I can't I can't believe I left her behind. Now, whose quest? It's yours and yours. I'm looking for the exclamation on the compass. Hey, here is your reward. Okay, steel I armor we can sell for 1.1. I never wear steel because it's too heavy. Any more jobs? Um, I'm in a motel bit, one. I can't thank you enough. What can I get you today? Sell this for five. Ooh, nice. Okay, mini bike bundle, mining helmet bundle, food bundle, or forged iron. We have a mini bike, so it doesn't matter. Mining helmet we have, food we have, traps we have. Okay, I'll go for this one. It's a shame we can't get double rewards yet. Do you think you can? God bless you. Okay. Uh, any more jobs? Buried supplies. Thank you. Okay, I already have a job from you. Uh, let's see. 
I think they reset every single day, so it's a lot easier for us to get resources and stuff. I, I'm hoping we can actually survive the next Horde Night, though. Um, let's see, let's see. Um. Oh, I need eggs. Every day I need to come check over here whether I have the eggs or not. I think the traders do reset every single day, so we should perhaps get lucky and find some. Uh, should probably also see if I can't buy the stone. I could go uh, get those nodes, but I don't know if we're going to get enough stone from that. Sorry, I didn't have what you needed. Come back, come back Okay, soon. let's see. Come back, come back soon. A little bit of a bug over there. The resources. Uh, stone's going to cost me 5.5. .5. Yeah, let's do that. No you eggs. Come back sometime. I think survivalist over here gives you eggs, but this as well does not have eggs. Oh, this resets not every day, but every few days. And then you should actually have some XP. Please sell some XP. Well, look what the Although if she is. does, uh, I don't think it's going to be this cheap. Day 14. The, it feels like this has been here really? for a while. Does she not reset like the traders every single day? I mean, I could just go and quickly sell these at least. And then, um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Should see if we don't have some more stone from them. This, I might be able to buy some. Um, let's buy 10. No, let's buy 15. I know I can just go wrench. But if I do this, I'll be able to make that motorcycle next. I already have a motorcycle because that I bought, but we're going to have to make one for the quest. Okay, and then you should have some stone as well. Please, 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 please. I know that some of these workstations might also sell some stone, so I can just check there next. If we ain't got what you're looking for, we can get it. This is a definition of lazy. All I need to do is go mining a little bit, but I'd rather buy it if I have the cash for it and then go from there. So I need about 2,100 more. No, that's going to be too much, I think. It's only five point something. So it's way cheaper over here than by the trader. Damn, that's way cheaper than here than by the trader. Why did it come here from the start? See, our vending machines as well are, are going to have just as great of deals. So the sooner we can get our vending machines up and running, the sooner we'll get great deals for buying resources and stuff. There are so many of those awesome fancy nodes at the back over there. If I can go for all of them, we're going to get so much resources. Okay, so for now, let's see. She's going to go shoot that zombie down there, isn't she? I can make 80 of the year. And then on me, 80 as well. How did I know she's going to go for the dude? Okay, so. Um, the problem right now is we need way... Oh, we have 208 shapes. So basically, I can make this as thick as possible. But I do need to try and see if I can't do this whole floor and then do the floor. Um... Yeah, we're going to do this. I need to exactly see where the middle of the space is. Because that's basically where I'm going to put all of my work boxes. Well, bench. Well, yeah, all my boxes and stuff. Um, the, the place where I put my boxes are, is going to be the thickest on the space. So as to, so if they go and they fire rockets from the bottom or whatever, um, it's going to be the super, super thick and the fire won't be able to spread. Well, at least that's the, that's the idea behind this right now. This... So the wall's going to be these two blocks over here going through, and then the floor's going to be double thick. And then all I need to go do then is where I'm going to place the storages right in the middle, I'm going to make like three or four thick. With the walls being too thick and me having wooden walls every now and then in between, there should be no chance of the zombies going and destroying everything, right? I should put the pillars underneath over here as soon as possible. At least this row on this side holding everything up. Because this weight is soon going to get too much. One, two, three... Or I think it can hold 12 out, so this should be fine. But the moment I start placing a double floor, it's going to actually be uh, very costly. So if I make this too thick, 1, 2, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's going to be a 10 uh, wide, and this is going to be super, super long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So 13 blocks in, and then 5 blocks in. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these two blocks over here, this is going to be the middle right here, the 4. Not where that's holding or touching. Let me just do this. Okay. 
Wait, but that doesn't feel like it's in the middle. Let me just please stand there. I want to see something. Where's those pillars? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, it is these two over here. Oh, okay. When I put both in, then it's in between this. So there's going to be a, a, a leg coming down over here. And in between these four legs, that one, that one, that one, and that one, that's going to be the middle of the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that uh, piece as thick as possible, like three, four blocks thick. And then we'll be able to go and put all our storage on top of this. I'm going to make a massive pillow over here. Technically, I could put my boxes on top of each other in the middle, but I think I'm going to make it nice and thick and then put it... Uh, yeah, let's really do this. Otherwise, I'm going to confuse myself too much right now. We'll put a pillow over here to make sure it doesn't fall in. Because this is where we want to put our storages right now so we have the space. And then... What I can do quickly is do this. Copy shape. Copy rotation. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm only going to go upgrade the middle over here. That, because you can see it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this over here is the middle. As long as I have these poles in, we don't have to worry about a thing. That's one, two, wait, wait. Yeah, one, two, three. It should line up nicely. Boom. So as soon as we have this in and we have this side in, we don't have to worry anymore about the weight of this place. Now I can put all the storages in and I don't have to wait until way, way, way later. So we can go copy shape, no, copy rotation, at least the shape's already copied. See, the problem is still at the moment, anything can attack us and hit the boxes in the muddle until I have the walls up. But until we have the walls up, this should help us out tremendously. It's been a while since I used that word. Since people told me that I use the word tremendously a lot, I haven't said it in like a few episodes, I think. But now that I've said it, I might accidentally keep saying it. Okay, copy rotation. And now all I have to go do is put in the storages. With those pillars now there, I can go and put some weight over here without having to worry too much. So, um... Yeah, this is where I put it right now, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. This is going to be a pillar all the way to the top. Make it nice and thick around it as well. At least now, yeah, this thing is... that's too. The floor is going to be too thick by default. So I'm going to put a third block over here. Like so. We're going to lift it one off the ground, because the, the ground is going to be over here, not over here. So we lift it off the ground by one. And then in the middle of here, we make a pillar. So we're going to put the boxes around this pillar. I don't always like putting boxes in the middle like this, because then you have to run around a circle to be able to put loot on stuff. But at least this way, the, the pillar is going to protect our loot. Now all we have to do is put the rest of the blocks in over here. And then we can start, we actually can start moving our big boxes in. The sooner I put the pillars in the rest of the floor and stuff, the better as well. But we at the moment need so much uh, loot and resources to be able to do this. We can easily go and move this at least. Whoopsie. Little bit of a lag spike just now. Um, I wonder if we can put this just anywhere, like for example right here, or if it has to be outside. This is how thick the base is going to be. So basically, one, two. If I put this outside, it might be... Well, we'll see. If I can loot it over here, then we can loot it over here. If it has to be downstairs, we'll just break it out and put it... Oh... Ah, why did I do that? Okay, I'm going to leave it one block in then. It's wood and it might catch on fire. I needed to lift it uh, one off the ground. The whole floor needs to be two blocks thick. And now I did that accidentally. So later when we have more, we can make our own. Let me just see. Bird tree. Uh, tree. Oh, we can make it. We just need a um, water and pestle. Nice. Okay, so I, I, as soon as I can make one or after I loot this one uh, once, I'll go and just break it and then put the rest of the floor in over there. I'm just hoping this doesn't get too heavy right now and starts caving in because then we just wasted so many blocks. Um, we could make more. I think there's some more over here in this work, uh, workstation over here, right? 
Yep, 80 more. But we have all of our clay at the other base. So I'm just going to put these down, make the floor as thick as possible. And then we need to go and grab all that stuff over there. We can also now move that land claim to over here so we can pick these up and just lift them off the ground. Since they're not busy crafting anything right now, I think we have to save some blocks for them. So what I need to do is save. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to place all of these, and then when I have the land claim block, I just have to come back over here. and actually make one while I wait. Land claim. I wonder if I place the new one, will the old one break? Because I can ju just then go and just place a new one. I could even go and break out a block or two over here, and then place it underneath. Or just place it anywhere in the floor itself, because that should cover everything. I think I'll place it on this side. This is the middle. It's uneven, but if I place it right here, it's going to claim even the horde base over there. Um, yeah, I'll put it even in the floor. No, I need to put it on top so the zombies can't see it. So I'm not going to put it on the bottom floor. I'm going to put it on the second floor. Okay, so I'm busy sorting all the inventories and stuff, and I just realized we still need 5,000 clay. Uh, we only have 3.3. .3. We do have a ton of stone that I want to also combine with that to make even more concrete. Did I drop the other stone? I think I might have dropped it in the bike just now because I know we have like 10k stone or something. Uh, but we definitely want to get more of that. I'm going to have to buy some clay quickly. That is either that or go digging. So for now, I'll rather just buy it. I'm going to grab this and then also a little bit of clay because I want to go and make more nails. Okay, can you please stay where you're standing? No more nails. Oh, there's some nails over here, but not enough. And then I need more wood, which is over here. Boom. It's nice that the trade is open at nighttime as well. It saves us so much time and effort. What can I get you today? Uh, please some clay. Please Probably actually first see this over here. Over at Survival Tradesman. I think these vending machines are a little bit cheaper than the traders themselves. So if I can get some clay over here, that would help. 4.5. Oh wow, that didn't even take like 300 coin. That is awesome. More cobble. How did I not see that cobble there sooner? It's going to reset soon anyways, and then... Do any of you have nails? Let me just do this. Nail. I'm going to copy this. Do it over here as well. Much obliged, stranger. Let us speak, survivor. Yeah, let us. I need some signs because I need to... Uh, I need some nails because I need to make more storages. At the moment, we only have uh, nine large ones, but I need two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 12, 14, 16. I need seven more uh, large storages, but we don't have enough nails right now. Uh, no. Thanks okay. Shopping here. Come again. I will most definitely. Don't worry. Okay, so you, my lady, are going to have to follow me quickly. Guys, I'm actually so uh, stressed right now when it comes to the wandering trade, uh, the wandering zombies and stuff. Uh, because there are those whisperers in between as well. It's been a while since we had one. So I'm just feeling like the next wandering horde is going to be a massive one. And there's going to be so many whisperers inside, it's going to be a little bit tough. Okay, so technically, I want to quickly just move this up. I'm going to put this forge up on one block, and then later, if we, we can even move these again if we don't want them to be in this exact spot. But for now, at least, do that. I also want to quickly check this one quest. Electrical parts, mechanical parts, we should have all of this. I need to go check. The wood, however, I need to buy some wood at the trader as well. I think wood's more expensive than the clay and the stone, so I don't know if we have enough cash right now. Uh, and my screen is frozen again, so I have to alt-tab back into it. I'm gonna have to see, there's something wrong, I think, with the screen's, uh, drivers. Okay, so we need more nails, which means I have to put these back in here quickly. Uh, put some more fuel in there, and nails. How many can I make? That's way too much. For now, all I need is about... Let's make 400. Oh wow, that craft's fast. Damn, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna have to wait for long. I should probably just wait until this is done then. Because I need to go and make more storages. Uh, if you look at it over here, guys, I went with uh, drinks, food, medical, uh, farming. This is mods. We have uh, ranged, melee. This is ammo. And this over here is tools. I could also probably make a box for like the gun. Um, I wonder if instead of tools on this side, I should make the gun parts on this side. And then the tools and the mods and all that stuff on this side. One box for like all mods. And then when we can make the extra large storage, you'll just break these out and replace them. I still need to go now and make some more 
signs. I'm also gonna I'm gonna do this, put two blocks in, and then put a sign on it so it just shows which one is where. Uh, I can technically put the sign on the bottom and sign over here. So the sign at the bottom is gonna tell what uh, what storage is on top. Although the only reason I have it lifted like this, we can still put the sign there and sign there. The only way a reason I have it lifted is to make sure that if something fires a rocket from the bottom, that the fire won't reach our storages. Okay, now I just need to make more large storages. How many can I make? 16. No, I just need 7. The moment we have those 7, we can put them in here and we can just put the rest of the stuff away. I did go and grab more stuff. Uh, I said now this, this is going to be the weapon parts. This is going to be the ammo. I think the ammo is everything. Yeah, it's in my bike. Now this is going to be a thing of I need storage right now. So let me just really, uh, keep on just putting a few things away and I'll be right back. Okay, that took longer than I thought, but all the storage is gone. It's at the back over there. I still have the uh, the armor and stuff on me that I need to go and drop. I hope I actually have a... I think I have a storage box for this. This is going to go under the miscellane uh, miscellaneous for now. Or I could actually put it next to the miscellaneous and then just make a cell box of its own. But yeah, that stuff's there. This stuff's over here. And now we just have to quickly go and see if I can't buy some more wood. I need... Stay where you're standing, please. I need about 4,000 something wood. Um... I'm going to try and buy it first. Our food's also super slow, uh, super low, so I need to start eating. Ooh, don't have enough cash. If I were to go sell some of my armors and stuff, would I then have enough? Well, you're a set for Obviously, I should probably eyes. just first uh, repair them, because at the moment, they're not really going to fetch me much. But all the heavy armors that I know I'm not going to... Oh, my screen just froze again. Uh, all the heavy armors that I know I'm not going to use, I'm just going to sell then. Uh, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Probably I've just first repaired them. It's not that expensive to repair them, but I just need the cash right Much now. Obliged, stranger. So now this quest is also going to finish. Boom. Tradesman 4 out of 5 done. Nice. Now just to craft the tradesman paper. Yay! Okay, that means we're done with that one. Uh, level 105, 4 skill points to spend, and then you guys also have reset. I need to be careful, it's almost a horde night. I've been so busy just running back and forth. I wonder, did I use up all of my... I'm going to go see how many more of these notes I need. Because there's more of here that we can buy. But then I use up all of my stone. I could have sworn we had like stacks of stone. Now all of a sudden it's gone. I know I'm constantly Rats. making stuff with cobble. But still, damn. Anything you like? At the base when I tried to make more cobble. It showed me that I only had like enough for 2,000 cobble. So it means that somehow, somewhere, all my resources were just went poof. Gone. I could buy more stone, but that's Thanks a little expensive. Anyways. You're a set for sore eyes. Am I now? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, stone, stone, stone. Molotovs and stuff. Great news we should have enough stuff for Ward Knight, at least, so we don't have to worry. Probably also see if I can't buy some vehicle stuff over here. Basically, we have to make the class paper for this. And then over here, we still have to go and kill a nurse and a hazmat. So I wonder if we uh, should quickly go and try and do that. Um, I think next episode might be Ward Knight. I'm going to skip ahead a bit, uh, even though it is going to be a waste of a whole day that we could do other stuff with. But I want to face this horde. We're going to face them here again. This should hold. Last time they started digging in over here because this, it's hollow underneath. But yeah, uh, if it's just us and the horde, I'm not going to keep the NPC over here. Although, I could put the NPC over here and then block it off. So only if a zombie breaks through, the NPC can help. Because like I said, um, they might kill the zombies and might count towards your kill count. But you don't get XP. I saw my, uh, my NPCs kill a few zombies when I needed like 150 XP and yeah, I just didn't level up. Until I myself did something to level up. Yeah, I had a broken leg so I had to put some frames over here to get up. Not broken, sprained rather. But yeah, our boxes should now be ready. That's drinks, this is food. I need to eat and drink because at the moment my, wa my food is super, super, super low. Probably see if I can't cook more stuff but at the moment we don't really have anything to cook. Uh, all the meat we had already uh, sold to the trader. This we can make. 100. So I'll make 50 on me and 50 over here. 50. Craft. And tradesman paper I need to make. Bubble. Shapes. Craft. So in one second we're going to be able to read that one. Uh, where did you go just now? Oh, it just gave it to us. You don't have to... Oh yeah, you don't have to read it this time. I should find a place where I can uh, put the vending machines down. Since the ward base is going to be on that side, I wonder if I shouldn't put them on the wall over here. So then these will have to move and all of my class stuff will be put in the corner over here. This already is part of the wall, so I need to move that one. 
the sooner we can actually get the rest of this floor done, the better, because I need to see where I have to put everything. We do have some cobble shapes. I'm carrying around a uh, fire extinguisher just in case I need to. And I think this, yeah, this is for armors. We'll probably go and see which armors we don't need, and then we're just going to go and scrap those. Also, I need to see if I have better gear on here. Let me just see this, for example. Where is D? Yeah, see, even though this is red, um, yeah, the, the heavy armor rating is better, but stamina, all that stuff goes down. But if I wear this one, I would be able to put as many mods on, but at least the mobility, stamina, all that stuff is way better. We want to make sure we're constantly wearing the best of the best armor. I, I actually prefer the lighter armor, because that way you don't have to worry about movement penalties or making too much noise and stuff like that. For now, though, uh, I think let's go over here. The notes. Uh, the class papers and the toys will go over here. This we sell with these. So all of these I need to sell. This is armor. And all the armor parts for now I'm going to put with a, mis a miscellaneous over here. Guys, I actually fell down right over here where I'm standing right now. Uh, because I keep forgetting the floor's not there. Okay, so which ones do we still need? Let me just quickly see this. So we still need covert survivalist technician. Uh, my bike actually has a few papers as well. I want to make sure I see exactly what we need, and then we might be able to quickly go and buy at the trader. That way, we don't have to worry about finding them. Uh, just luckily, get a, uh, just getting lucky and finding them. We can actually have them. And the moment we have this whole floor in, I can put my vending machines in too. Okay, so uh, that was which ones? Covert survivalist technician. So let's see if we can't just stack like this. Okay, uh, covert, yes. Survivalist, we have five, yes, and then technician, yes, five, okay. So we don't really need any of these notes anymore then. Oh uh, no, that's ammo. But at least now I know we have everything we need. Uh, the speakers that we're going to sell, this will go with the armor. Yeah, and this is miscellaneous. I also needed to remember to broadcast my shape or my boxes over here because I forgot about that. It's awesome that we can actually share, I wish that in my Darkest Fall server we had this already as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't install the dev version, so now we're stuck on an outdated version. And I recently found out that the server has the Anna and the Bunker bug. Because even with the power source and stuff, we can't get in there, so that is unfortunate. Okay, so all of these we're going to sell, and the rest of this is technically miscellaneous. Boot goes over there. This is miscellaneous. Uh, yeah, put miscellaneous, and all of this stuff we sell. This we keep. I'll put in the vending machines over here for now. Like so. So we have two of the vending machines. We just have to quickly go and put in the rest of the blocks over here. And hopefully with as many blocks as we have, we can at least do the floor. Now we can go for the cobble next. Let's go make 3,000 on me. I'm not going to make all of it. 3,000 here and 3,000 on me. Because I don't want to waste, I don't wanna waste all of the um, clay. We might need it for some iron or some forged iron or steel or something. Okay, now I just have to quickly go and place this in. And then we have to go and see if we can't kill those last zombies for the one quest. I mean, that one's already... I, I think it's the... Covert, yeah. After this one, the 5 out of 5 is going to be to craft that thing. We at least have the notes as well. So as soon as we've killed those few zombies, it's going to tell us to make the notes, and then we have another class done. Okay, so I kind of messed up. I left my NPC at the trader again. So I'm going to have to make use of this dude, because you have a wandering horde coming through. Come on, dude. Come on, stop shooting that guy. I want to quickly get your attention. Okay, now I can quickly talk to you. Follow me. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Yeah, he's going to make a lot of noise right now, unfortunately, but we have to kill all of the... Enemies coming in. There's going to be some uh, uh, people in between as well. Yes, there's another hazmat. We have to kill two hazmats. And there's some nurses. Now, where are the other dudes? Why are you running away? Now, where are the whisperers? I know I'm leaving my bike behind, but just a quick check over here. Sometimes they lag behind the zombies. My nurse might be in trouble if I don't go and protect her quickly. Okay, it seems this time around it was just the Wandering Horde. 
Follow me. Sometimes they're stuck behind a building. And other times they're just lagging behind. So since the ward was coming from that direction, they might still be moving around over here. Okay. It's been a while since we've actually seen it, uh, a wandering horde, so I'm actually happy that there wasn't any whisperers in between. Guys, these whisperers are so tough that you can uh, literally shoot them and shoot them and shoot them and not kill them. You have to have like an M60 or a shotgun and you have to do uh, quite a few shots to the faces. They're way, way, way tougher than zombies. Which, I mean, makes sense. Zombies are rotting flesh, so they should die uh, slow or faster. And then these guys should die slower because they are meat with some armor and stuff on. Okay, uh, yeah, I was busy placing these in over here. I'm going to be as careful as possible right now because uh, there might be still some whispers and stuff coming in. But basically, I want to put in these pillars and then put the floor on top. But that means we're going to run out of blocks soon as well, unfortunately. Uh, do this. Copy rotation. It's so easy to misplace blocks. I actually misplace a block over here. Took it out, and as I took it out, I saw... Ooh, zombies. Okay, so, um... This one's a full, full pillar, and this one is also. So what I need to do... Rotation where you. That corner, so you are next. I can't even go and do that. So that is one, two... Three... Four, five, six. Now we have to copy this shape and make it to go all the way to the top. Guys, uh, the, uh, the reason my screen is so um, overly uh, bright right now is because of my motorcycle. See, the motorcycle is actually a great source, even during Horde Night. You could use your motorcycle as a source of light. Because look at this, this one light over here is going through all the blocks and uh, make, giving light to this whole area. Okay, technically I still need to do this row over here. Um, yeah, it's going to only be enough one pillar, unfortunately. That's equal with that, equal with that. It lines up, and it lines up. So this is the one inside corner. Boom. Um. Let's actually copy a shape. It's going to be easier. Copy shape, copy rotation. One, two, three. Which means the next shapes should be on this side. Although it doesn't look like... Oh, no, it is. From, for a moment, they didn't look like it from this rotation over here. So we're going to go copy rotation. I need to see which zombie do we still need to kill right now. I think it's only the nurse. And as soon as the nurse is done, we can say that we finally have the cover done as well. Matt. See, it's so easy to misplace a block. Now, I could leave it like this because it's already fulfilling its role, but it looks so ugly over here that uh, I just have to take it out. It's gonna, It's going to bother me the whole time. And yeah, that was the last block, unfortunately. Uh, I can make one. Oh, now I'm making too much. I think I just used up all of my cobble and stuff in the base. I wonder if instead of that, I shouldn't go for these blocks over here. There's 111 more. So with that, we should be able to go and at least fill the pillars un and underneath. And then perhaps some of the roof. I think I should do the roof first because it's easier going from the top to the bottom and then jumping up and up and up. Okay, so, uh, at the moment we are making more cobble over here, and we're making more cobble, uh, cobble over here with some shapes. Uh, basically guys, we are almost done with the base's floor, then we just have to do the walls, and then at least our base is up and running. We have a, pl a safe place to put all our loot, um, I even went over here, and did what I said I want to do, so this is the storages, we're going to put signs over here. Technically, I could put the sign on the side, I might actually do that. If I need some more space later, we can take these two blocks out, put storages. And then put the sign, uh, signs on the side of the box to say what that box is. Hmm, I should have done that from the start. At least this way the storages are slightly separated just in case something happens. Although I'm hoping nothing happens. I think from the start I'm going to put the signs on the side. And then if it gets full we don't have to worry about breaking out the signs because the signs will just be able to move then. So this way we can just write what's in each of these boxes. I want to see if we can't really go uh, fetch that one nurse and I think it's only the nurse we need. We already have the hazmat, we killed the soldier, so now... Just kill one more nurse. So if I can go into a place quickly and find a nurse, we'll be able to complete that quest, and then we just have to make the covert one. So covert is... this one. I'm gonna take that with us, so when we do it, we can just immediately craft. And all the rest of here, we're gonna sell that. Resources and building supplies go up top. 
Okay, and then this stuff we have to sell as soon as possible. I'm gonna keep this on us just in case we have to tell, uh, put some fire out. Although, I'm surprised at how long it's been lasting. Also, guys, if you look at the time right now, I thought that I'm gonna be setting a, uh, losing a whole day setting the time aid for the horde. But we're already 2 o'clock, so I wouldn't have been able to make another episode anyways. We already moved all our loot. Oh, now, yeah, I took that dude with me. Now it's gonna be super loud. Uh, please be a nurse over here. Sometimes you get zombies spawning in over here, so if I get lucky... Nope, oh, okay, they haven't respawned in yet. And then this, we can just go and wrench. I don't think we have, yeah, we need the one skill to make uh, military fibers from this. Okay, where am I going to find a nurse at this time of day? We could probably go do one of the quests or something and see if I can't find a nurse like that. Oh, there's a POI over the year we have to loot. Is it already auto? No, it's this one. Okay, so let's really do this one quest and just see if there's no nurse over here. If there is, it's going to be, oh, there might be a nurse by the vet. Okay, we're just really going to do this fetch and hopefully get the nurse we need. Probably turn my bike's lights off because it is super, super bright right now. I don't even have to go and break that because we can crawl through one by one. Why are you firing outside? You need to come help me clear this place. Now all of a sudden she's inside. Hello. Yuki, that was a little bit too close to comfort. I just need one nurse, come on. I was actually afraid of him making all the noise, and now she's making all the noise. Now I'm starting to think, must I drop her? Now she's bugged as well. Must I leave her at the base, or must I leave him at the base? Or do I leave both at the base? It goes downstairs, which means this floor of here caves in. I want to be I'm just going to do the whole place. We have to find supplies. The supplies are upstairs. I need to check, otherwise I'm going to forget. Even on the server, um, I did a quest and immediately brought there was a quest. We're going to get stuck in there. And now he fell down. I don't even know if she died just now or not. Hey, you can't pull anything in. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about these dudes over here. I just need a nurse. Lab workers, no nurses. Move. Move. There's a hidden box at the back of here. At least she's part of this place, so she can't spawn any zombies as far as I'm aware. So you guys just need to make sure that she doesn't get to me, please. I literally need one nurse, and now I'm not going to get that nurse. Watch. My luck. Are you guys not going to deal with her? How did you get past the nurse, by the way? You are amazing to have gone past that nurse so easily. We have to go up. If not mistaken, one of the two zombies can also fall out the roof, so I'm be careful of that. Please, I literally need one nurse now. Now I'm finding, not finding that one nurse. Okay, so go through here, go through here, go through here, jump up here. I hate when you guys go all fours like that. I despise it. And no bloody nurse. Yep, they die from the bleeding right now. So unfortunately, we, we can't find that nurse. I, I literally need one nurse. And then that quest is done. And the tool... Oh yeah, I have a box for these kinds of tools that go inside stuff. Just to make sure that we uh, separate those tools from other tools. Because the other tools are... Are already almost the full box. But to make sure it doesn't take too much space, I separate the different kinds of tools. Power tools, hand tools together, and then workbench tools together. Make sure I didn't miss anything back here. I got the fetch as well, so it says return to trader. It's just a shame that there's no nurse over here. You're a zombie, but I don't know if it's downstairs, upstairs, where is it? Oh, hello. Where can I find a nurse right now? We might be able to find one at this vet quickly, so I'll just quickly try and see if I can't get one to spawn. I don't I don't think I'm going to loot this whole place right now. I just want to at least see if I can't get a nurse. See, there's going to be lab workers, and I don't know about nurses. Usually there's a nursing can fall out the roof, but it might be... Yes! That's all I need. I, that, I'm not going to do this whole place right now. Where are you stuck? Thank you. Okay, now we can go. 
All I literally wanted to do is quickly do that. Now it says we have to do the... Covert? Yeah. Uh, wait. Now it says we only have four out of five of those. Oh, I didn't grab the whole stack. Damn. Okay, so now we should be able to go and put our vending machines over here. I'm going to exactly see how many we need. So one, two, three. I think there's six vending machines. One, two... No, five. Could have sworn it was an even number. Anyways, we're going to put those vending machines next to these then right over here. Um, yeah, as soon as we have all of them, I'll put them down. Technically, want to see exactly how I'm going to put them down and what's going to be the ideal place. And also, we have to go and make this one quickly. To stop this. Put that behind. 134 more. 134. Come on, that just popped my in. What the hell? I can't click on that for some reason. There you go. 134. But yeah, now we just got another one of those vending machines. Boom. So we have three vending machines and there are two to come over here. One, two. Look how much we level up for completing these classes, guys. So the sooner we can get these done, the better, because we gain so much from doing this. I wonder, do I need to feed this birds thing over here? I don't know if I should feed it, if I'm going to be able to loot it. What? How does it work? It would be cool if that could actually also give me eggs, but I'm most likely going to have to go buy them and scavenge for them. Okay. What I'm going to do now, guys, is I need to go and put all of this stuff away. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of inventory management over here. This is supply flare. Nice. Large weapons. Hopefully this might be able to help us with Lord Knight. Nah. Okay, so I'm going to have to grab all my weapons, grab all my loot. Um, I need to, need to go to, uh, bring the NPCs into the base over there. And then, yeah, next episode is going to be the Horde Knights. Um, I'm going to have to tell them to stand in place and not interfere because you just know they're going to want to interfere. Oh, as soon as these are done, I can actually make more blocks. Nice. This actually crafted way faster than I thought it would. But yeah, all I have to do now is a little bit of inventory management. I'm going to grab all my guns, ammo, all that stuff, go to the base, bring the NPCs with. And the next episode, we're going to face the Day 14 Horde. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am because, yeah. Now that we finally have a base up and running, I'm just hoping this is safe while we're over there. The zombies should spawn in more or less over here, but hopefully they don't come over here and break my base in. All the pillars of this floor is now done. We just have to go and fall in this over here and put in a wall and then we have to do the horde base over there. So after day 14, after we use that place, I'm actually hoping that wreck it. So we can then go and just build, uh, make a base over here. I'm going to make it those three over there and then I might just remove all of that and make like a backup base on that side. So if this side breaks, we can just go to that side and use that side. Yeah, uh, but I may, must make sure they're not connected because if this side fails, I want to be able to jump over to that side and then face them there. If it's connected, they're going to come up from the back while I'm busy on this side. Yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like to share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave them below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more War of the Walkers fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.